Welcome back. And when we last left off, we were about maybe a quarter to a third of the way into the milling of this um, plug for the inside door frame on the left hand side. And here it's the next day. So this is a Wednesday morning and it's still running. <laughs> Ended up taking 58 hours or something like that altogether to get this one run. Uh, anyway, on, on uh, Wednesday, we had some guys show up um, from Aircraft pl Plastics who are going to be doing our windows. And they wanted to get sort of, you know, some info and lessons and stuff from Jeff on mold making. So um, we had them sort of help help out. And actually, they did a lot of work, <laughs> which was really nice, actually, in helping us out here. So this is the uh, window molds here, and they're laying up the first uh, mold. So that's the plug that we created over the last couple of weeks. And here you can see they wet it down with resin. And it's the high temp resin they're using, and they're putting down the first um, layer of um, fiberglass and this is just very fine sort of uh, fiberglass fabric and we put down several layers of that and then we go to a heavier cloth to add more structure behind that so i think they end up being about six layers um, in total uh, for each mold and you can see they're just sort of smoothing that out there and then uh, they take um, some squeegees and put more resin on there and just basically get all the air out and make sure it's all wet down uh, correctly with the resin and then of course uh, all the edges of the of the fabric they're all trimmed off um, just with the shears so these guys are actually really helped out f for us uh, with us uh, on Wednesday and then they were there Thursday morning as well just to see the finished product so here you can see um, this is one of them and I believe that's the uh, left hand side one and that's the right hand side one and so got all the layers on there now and then just putting some more resin on there just to make sure everything's nice and wet down and you don't want any dry spots at all in there and those uh, came out pretty nice didn't have any problems with that and you can see there's a tape uh, seal around the edge there just to make it easier to clean things off uh, when we're done because uh, once you put down all the resin and everything you pull that tape off and then you've got a nice clean edge on the plug and then you can lay down this uh, double-sided sort of sticky putty um, that you know adheres to the plug and you can put the um, the plastic bag over it um, seal it around the edge in order to be able to set up for the vacuum so here you can see Jeff's just laying out uh, what essentially is sort of like a cotton fabric here that allows the air to be sort of drawn out uniformly uh, uniformly um, from all areas of the plug and not sort of you know create any air bubbles or anything like that and so here putting on the plastic and it's just it's sort of very thin plastic here and you just seal it up against that double-sided tape and so you you know get a nice seal all the way around and then you cut a little hole uh, in the center of the thing there and then you put in a, a little fixture that hooks up to the air pump or the the uh, vacuum pump system and it sucks all the air out and you just leave it under under vacuum like that for a few hours while it's uh, curing. So here you can see they're just putting it on the back edge there, pushing it onto the double-sided tape. So it's actually fairly time consuming doing these, um, making the molds. It took about a day to do both of these, yeah, but it's nothing compared to how long it takes to create the plugs and get them all sanded and prepared. So things are gonna start really picking up the speed here. And there's the finished one. So meanwhile, um, this plug finally finished the rough cut. Well, actually, rough when I say rough, I mean vertical cut. And ready to do the undercuts there. And actually, you see on the right-hand side there of the plug, there's a couple of spots there where we didn't wet down the glass enough and we're creating that plug. And, and when the mill hit it, it, it basically tore it up a little bit. But it's easy repair, and it's actually in an area that we're not using anyway. So the outside of the flange area. So not a big deal to fix that. And then here you see it's the next morning, Thursday morning. Uh, the guys are back to help just sort of peel off the plastic and the protective um, layers on there. And just to see the finished product. Of course, we won't um, release those from the plugs for a little while yet. They need time to really cure and harden up. And we're going to put um, a little bit of structure brace around the outside edge of that. And there's the plug um, after all the undercuts and the the door lock uh, latches are all sort of cut out there so that one's all done and here's the two um, 
molds there for the windows all finished there you can see the texture on there okay so the rest of Thursday was spent getting this one uh, in putty so that had to have you know four layers of putty on it and we did a bunch of other things on Thursday just prepping for more things going forward so kind of busy day but uh, ultimately this mill is starting out it's not actually touching there but it is started so that's going to take a while again and this is a uh, Friday and these two uh, prepped now sanded this early morning um, ready for black and these ones are getting sanded uh, ready for waxing so we can pull molds off of those and then Jeff was doing some painting so there's the two that were just um, primed they're now painted so they're they'll be ready for uh, wet sanding um, and then waxing and then there's the other two and they're already had black on them uh, a week ago and so they've been prepped now they're ready for waxing and then here's the overhead console now that had a couple of changes and so that one got resprayed and then finally here we are still going on this one and this will be going through the weekend so that's the update till next time thanks